Shane Gillis. We are back with another Shane Gillis. What I need you guys to do in the comments, let's start off right. If you've ever made, met Shane Gillis, let me know. If you've ever been to one of his shows, let me know. Let me know why you like him as well. I think this guy is dark humor expert. He's the dark humor expert by far. That's the type of comedy we like on this page. We love for people to be offended. And if you're not offended, it's not that funny. All right. We're going to get right into this. Uh, you know, Shane Gillis does Trump uh, impressions. Make sure you guys run up them likes. I need 5000 likes so I can go viral. And without further ado, let's get right into it. What a great crowd. What an amazing crowd this is. A lot of beautiful women here. Great women. <laughs> oh, beautiful women, a lot of great guys, too. <laughs> Tony, what an unbelievable experience it is. <laughs> what a great show this could be instead. We've got an absolute idiot here running the show. <laughs> oh, hey. What a great lady. I talked to her backstage, and <laughs> wonderful woman. The tits are real. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, excuse me. A lot of people are saying her tits are fake. They're not fake. I touched them. And <laughs> great tits, wonderful tits. Yo, am I the only one that damn near forgot that he's doing an impression? I damn near thought it was Trump on there. Like, his impression game is A1. If you agree, write A1 in the comments, man. He is sick with the impressions. American tits, and that's the, <laughs> that's the thing that we've lost under this administration. Where are the American tits anymore? Four years ago, there were American tits. Now there's no American tits. <laughs> it was okay, <laughs> according to you. It was not. It was... <laughs> Real quick, I need to know what this Kill Tony thing is about. I've seen it online, like, you know, passing on my timeline, but let me know what the Kill Tony uh, thing is about. And if you guys want me to do Kill Tony content, write Kill Tony in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, you should be embarrassed about it. I would... Uh... <laughs> not good, not good. <laughs> Yeah, this is the first thing we agree on. That was dog shit. He's in New York. Okay. Yeah. He said, what a wonderful city that is. <laughs> Great city now. Homeless, this guy's dad. <laughs> ruining it, ruining New York. You have a lot of work to do. You should <laughs> stop collecting bugs and get a job. I mean, what are you doing? And who are the other comedians on the stage? Guys, I don't mean to ask so many questions. I really don't know. You know, I'm not afraid to not know something and ask because you guys are the fam. So put me on. Who are the comedians on the stage? And just tell me the background of the stuff. <laughs> yeah, plenty of What jobs. are you really doing? Put off the red nose reindeer. What'd you stick your dick in a bucket of Mountain Dew? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Listen to this guy. Joe, you could do nothing to me. <laughs> I would hurt you severely, and everyone here knows it. I would beat Joe's ass <laughs> so badly, frankly. Towards each other until one of your chickens out and moves away. That's very funny. Joe Biden did that with Big Mike. <laughs> 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 they played gay chicken every day. She'd say, Joe, this is a chocolate... Okay, who is Big Mike? He would go, whoa. <laughs> this is a dick. You've got a dick. <laughs> a huge dick, a white snake, a black snake. Oh, no. Michelle Obama has a giant <laughs> black dick. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few Bud Lights I'm going to turn into Sleepy Joe in a minute. We're both... <laughs> Oh. We're both going to be doing a Joe Biden impression. What a <laughs> shitty story. What a dumb, boring story. <laughs> you brought us here. You're going to talk about parking tickets. Of course he's getting parking tickets. He is very Asian. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point, President Trump. Uh, do you always get a lot of parking tickets, Hans? Yes. <laughs> is he still working for the banks? I have no idea. You don't talk to him? Yeah, I stopped talking to my dad. Why did you stop talking to your dad? He's kind of crazy. But wait, why? How is he crazy? Did he say, stop working at a fucking grocery <laughs> store? Stop doing comedy, get a real job. I'm a millionaire banker, and my son is a retarded anime pussy. <laughs> That's what I love about Shane Gillis. It's like it's naturally funny. And it's not like 
I don't think he rehearses a lot of the stuff. I think the stuff really just comes secondhand to him. And we just got to give comedians their praise. You know, comedians are the light in the darkness. You know what I mean? And I think that if we praise them and stop talking about, oh, cancel him and, oh, he offended. If a comedian is not offending anybody, he's not a comedian. You know what I mean? If y'all appreciate a good comedian, man, write appreciation in the comments, man. Hey. <laughs> What yeah. are you doing at Trader Joe's? Uh, just like Trader Joe, that's what we call this guy. <laughs> He's sold out this country. <laughs> the young Drew Nickens here. I thought he did a great job. I thought everybody in this room was totally captivated. And <laughs> everyone understood exactly what he was saying. And he didn't scare anyone. No one was scared, and everyone knew exactly what you were saying. I think you're a great American. He loves you. Drew, are you voting for Trump in November? I voted for RFK Jr. I thought his set was absolutely terrible. What a <laughs> complete mess that set was. What an embarrassment, truly. <laughs> Everyone was scared. No one understood him. He, <laughs> frankly, came off worse than anyone yet, including the racist Mexican oak. Yeah, what's hilarious is like, is he really, this is Trump day to day. Like, that's how I look at Trump. Like, even though he's trying to act like Trump, I look at Trump like this every day. Like, he's the most free spoken person in the world. Nobody's stopping what he has to say. And it's like, even though it's funny that he's trying to joke, it's kind of like he's acting more like Trump than Trump at this point. Okay. <laughs> All right. Tony, how many more retarded guys do you have back <laughs> Anything gonna happen. This crowd is hungry for more retarded guys. And <laughs> frankly, I don't think we've seen enough retarded guys. How about a retarded racist? Would you like to see that? <laughs> this next person could be one. I pulled it out of the bucket. It is the Kill Tony debut, I do believe, of Jacob Barr, everybody. Jacob Barr. Oh, Thank my you. God. Oh, my body. <laughs> He said, oh, my God. That's real comedy when you can't hold it in. Hold on. This is going to get savage. I got to watch Something's this. Something's fucked up. Just point at it. Uh, you the seven deadly symptoms. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got them. You've got all of them. <laughs> <laughs> For a guy with mangled arms, you talk very articulate. <laughs> uh, it is very good. <laughs> yeah, you're a very good, very bright guy. It didn't affect your brain. Good brain. <laughs> Great brains. <laughs> Give you Just as God intended, men oh. should not have assholes. <laughs> that is gay. Having an asshole is gay. <laughs> Frankly, under my administration, <laughs> no men will have assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, that was a great joke, and the internet is going to prove that I made a great joke and that this room is tired and dumb. You all got a Home Alone 2 reference, and no one knew Jurassic Park. What a... A few years ago, excuse me, excuse me, a few years ago, everyone would have got the Jurassic Park Bro, reference. this is so crazy. <laughs> it was a Jurassic World under my administration. <laughs> <laughs> great show. What an amazing show. A lot of people say this is one of the best shows that's ever happened. I do. Probably the best show. I'm not tired or have to piss incredibly bad. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you have to pee and that guy's fucking screaming, it, it really hurts. So <laughs> we'll wrap it up, please. Yeah. All right, all right, yo, I cannot lie. I'm not even going to lie. Shane Gillis is hilarious by far. He is hilarious by far. And there's not a lot of comedians that are competing with him. And when we think of this new, the new group of people that are representing the new age comedy, you know, the Anthony Jessel next, the Andrew Schultz, he's a part of that. Regardless of whether you like it or not, Tom Segura as well. These, these whole new level of comedians, he is a part of that. And I want to thank you, Shane Gillis, for being a part of that and not being afraid to be you. They tried to cancel my boy for the Saturday Night Live, and it did not matter. You know what I mean? Guys, please tell me about this Kill Tony thing because now I'm really interested and now I don't want to know more information. Make sure y'all let me know about this Kill Tony thing so I could definitely be in the loop. I'm also trying to get to 100,000 followers by the end of the year, so make sure you guys uh, subscribe and hit the top bell, and I will see you on the next one.